Now, if you've been walking through your local park um, during the day or whatever, and you're looking at the little thing and you're starting to say, hang on a second, leprechauns don't exist, but you see a thing that looks like a trampoline for a leprechaun, and it's in front of you and say, what is that for? Well, I've got a man on the line who's going to explain it. It's a new sport. It's something you might want to get involved in. Uh, Simon Leonard from Roundnet. He's the CEO of Roundnet World. Uh, Simon, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Ian. I'm great. Thanks good, for good. Uh, bringing me on today. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, we're fascinated by this because it's a new, newish sport. I don't know whether it's been going in other countries. How did you discover it? And explain what it is, will you? Yeah, so um, let let me explain what uh, Roundnet is first. So um, it's it's a it's as exhilarating as it is kind of accessible. So everybody can play it and everybody will enjoy it. And it's getting really popular all across Ireland. Mm-hmm. So just to explain it, it, it's very similar to the rules of volleyball. Um, in volleyball, say it's it's two teams of two players, yeah. and team A will hit the ball over the net, and team B have three touches in order to get the ball back over Um, and it's a point when the team can't return it so the difference in our sport and what makes it so exciting and so easy is that um the the players aren't on either side of the net they're around the net as as we call it round net so that basically leads to longer rallies it's much easier for for kids to get involved and and anyone really to get involved so when uh, you say the the nest that is basically what is what that, that little tiny what looks like a trampoline yeah, the, exactly. that's the so, net. So, but it's on the ground. So you're looking down at it, and you're 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 uh, kind of aiming the ball down all the time. Is that right? Yeah. So it's in volleyball, it changes possession when the ball goes over the net. Whereas yeah. in our sport, it's when you hit the ball off of the net. Right, so the aim okay. of the game is to hit the ball off the net as hard as you can, so that the other team can't get it back. Okay. And can you pass the ball to each other as well to other? Yeah. And, so and are they are they members of your team or are they not members of your team? Are you all playing against each other or what's the story? So it's two teams of two. So it'll be yeah. myself and my partner versus um, two other people. Right, okay. And how, when did you first come across this? So I was studying abroad in Colorado back in 2016. Yeah. Um, and it was completely new surroundings for me. I didn't know anyone. And it was a bit intimidating. And I was walking through the quad one day and I saw these people laughing and screaming and celebrating. And they were playing on a spike ball set. And uh, I wouldn't do this very often, but I decided to walk over to them and introduce myself and ask if I play. Yeah. And that semester, I spent the entire six <laughs> months playing spike ball, getting to know people in the community. Yeah. And it really, really changed my kind of experience of, of what could have been a, a bad study abroad experience into a life changing one. Okay. Um, now, I, now just, yeah. just, is it spike ball or is it round net? Or is it, is it the same Great thing? Great question. Great question, Ian. I get this asked this all the time. So it started at Spikeball uh, back in 2011, and I bought my set in a toy store, would you believe? Um, but because the sport is just so addictive, um, people started taking it a lot more seriously, and they started putting on tournaments in the U.S. Yeah. And it got to the point where sponsors were coming in, uh, ranking systems were being put in place, and it, that all really kicked off in America, and then Europe brought it to the next level. Um, and now we are 40 countries strong, about to compete in Worlds next year. So wow. it's transformed as Spikeball, the product, into round net, the sport. And we're looking forward or planning to go towards the Olympics in LA in 2028. It's a big wow. transition. Do you think that's a reality? Do you think that's going to happen? I think the community that I am a part of, the, the international round net community, yeah. are incredibly ambitious and just kind of amazing people. And um, I think it's a great goal to set for us. I mm. think it's, it's, it's really shooting, you know, towards the stars. But um, with the people that we have and the passion that we have within the community and even and especially the people in Ireland, I think that it actually is possible, would you believe? Yeah. Well, listen, um, just uh, I hope we, we've explained it between the two of us. Uh, well, but I'm sure people are sort of saying, what exactly is this? I do want to see. Is there a website or is there something that they could go to just to, to check it all out and, and to see if they're interested in, in getting involved? Yes. Yeah. So we, our website, remnantireland.com, will have all the information everyone needs. But for kind of a quick view, you can head to our Instagram, which is Remnant Ireland, or even go on YouTube and look up either spike ball or round net, and you'll see yeah. some of the best plays. Um, and I, I promise you'll be addicted after watching yeah. it. The National Round Net Championships are taking place in Dublin this coming Saturday, so good luck to everybody involved in that. Uh, so are there, are there many teams at this stage around Ireland? Absolutely. So 
um, we, we've grown massively over COVID, would you believe? Um, really? People started, yeah, getting, I guess, looking for something they could, they could do with their friends outdoors, really? social distanced, and uh, kind of locally. And brown net actually was the thing for thousands of people all across Ireland. So mm. um, we were probably selling, so we, we distribute sets, spike yeah. ball sets in Ireland. We were selling probably five a week pre-COVID. Yeah. During COVID, we were selling five a day. Um, and the great thing is all the profits from the sale of sets go back into supporting the community. So we've been able to use the money that we've made to um, subsidize sets for schools. So now we're in over 100 schools across Ireland. We've got nice. university league set up for in, in Trinity this year coming up. Um, and we are also um, have the kind of set up for the Irish team, um, which will be decided at the national championships this weekend. Um, and these players will be kind of supported to travel across Europe next year. That's brilliant. Um, Sounds like it's very well organised. So search words are Roundnet Ireland. Check all that out and you'll find all about it. Anybody interested? I tell you, you're going to get a big response to that, Simon. Thank you very much for taking part. Thanks for getting in touch. Our, and uh, thanks for taking our call. And uh, best of luck with us. And good luck to everybody you. in the National Roundnet Championships over the weekend uh, in Dublin. Cheers, Simon. I will thanks, always Dean. remember the day 